Hey everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. Wanted to do an overview of the propagation, or sorry, the aquaponics bed. And I've been trying to, I did some cuttings and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do cuttings in this system. So I've done a bunch of cuttings and it looks like these are actually working. I'll take one out even though I'm risking uh, destroying it. Not oh, nice. So this is a black elderberry, and it's been in here for about a week or so. See if I can get that back down without hurting it too much. Um, <clears throat> oh, here's a good one. Size that berry. So I have that. I have. I did a bunch of cuttings from black elderberry. Um, on that side, I have blackberry, which looks like it's doing really good actually. So it was kind of a test to see if how well that would work. Um, these are hydrangeas, and I basically just piled them all up and, uh, oh, to see if those would work in here. I mean, they're in full sun. This is a lot different than the, uh, propagation bed out back. I have my mint bed, which is growing like crazy. I also stuck, so I'm trying a few different methods. I stuck the black elderberry in basically perlite, probably 90% perlite, 10% um, compost. And the water probably comes up about an inch or so from the bottom of the pot so that this stays moist. I'm also growing lettuce in there. And to see if I can do that as well with black elderberry. Let's see what I got. Uh, nothing yet. So we'll leave those in there for a while, see what happens. Because um, if I'm able to do it in there, I would basically just rip out all this stuff and put perlite pots in. Let's check this little guy. <clears throat> and it doesn't look like anything yet. So all in all, between this one and the propagation bed. Uh, propagation bed is already ahead. Um, <clears throat> and I did that with blackberry over here too. These guys are more in full sun. I mean, the perlite's moist, so they won't dry out, which is surprising. They saw the leaves on there and everything. I got a hydrangea growing in here. Strawberries, I'm gonna let a couple of these lettuce plants go to seed and then I'll collect those. So about probably three weeks and then you get the, uh, start getting roots on these. So I'll probably do a bunch more uh, black elderberry cuttings and or yeah, black elderberry, thornless blackberry. And these are goji berries right here. I just took a bundle of them, put them in there. They're not looking as great. The leaves are all falling off. Um, but we'll see how they do. It's kind of hard on, on this end, I think is higher. So I need to lower it or I need to raise this side so that I can get the water to come up higher on that end, or I'll probably increase the pipe size right here. Um, I also did an extension to aerate the, the water flow. Um, cause I wanted a constant aeration into the water. So I took this pipe, made another T and just did like three or four holes in there to do that. I need to uh, clear out the pump, water it a little bit. I need to cut some lettuce today and still have tomatoes in there, but they're just not growing at all. And I'm still waiting on cucumbers. This is a cucumber, cucumber, another perlite pot. And these are just like little wicking trays with lettuce cucumbers. These cucumbers are going really slow. I don't know if they'll work. I put some more elderberries in here, but I don't know if they're covered far enough. We'll see if those do anything. And yeah, so overall, uh, seems like this is quite the propagation bed. Let's check on... Well, I don't want to take up one of these. Uh, this is a thornless blackberry and it looks like it's growing a lot just uh, since I planted them. So with that, uh, thanks for watching and I'll do some more videos later.